What's happening, familia? Familia. Fam Fam familia. <laughs> Guys, it's late. We got the kids to sleep. We cleaned the kitchen. We folded some clothes. We did the parenting thing. But we decided tonight, instead of doing a Q&A, we were going to do story time. Um, I have no idea what that means. Oh, you have no idea what it means? Yeah. It means Are you going to tell me it means a story? I, I mean, no, it means that we're going to tell a story. So I figured tonight I would tell the story about how uh, how I got into Big Time Rush. And then I figured on, on, on your channel, you could tell your story about how you got in, into Spy Kids. Oh, interesting. So. I thought it was gonna be story time, like when we make up a story with our kids. No, 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 no. Like an Junk actual story. story. So. Our poor kids. Because, because I only have like 11, 12 minutes on this thing. Um, is, is this just your hair everywhere? Oh yes, my Yes, baby, it's gosh. the worst. You guys, I'm just like I that vacuumed. place where I'm shedding oh. so much. Anyways. So how I got into Big Time Rush? Well, um, I, this is kind of crazy. No, get in the video, you're over here. So I actually, I'll back it up. I actually was in LA auditioning for the movie Fame. I had sent in a tape from Florida and my manager called me and said, hey, uh, we would, uh, the, the, the studio wants to see you in person. And, and they want you to meet- For Fame? For fame, yeah. And I was like, great, I'll come meet producers. This would be great. And I must have been like 17 at I the time. For fame. Well, neither of us got it, clearly. Yeah. Well, my friend at Turing Otten was in it. No idea who that is. Um, so, anyways, we, uh, I, uh, I, I talked to my parents and we decided that the right thing to do was to fly to LA and meet the producers because this could be my big shot. So I flew to LA, met with the producers, and by the time I, I got home. By the time I got home, I, I already knew that I was not getting it. They, they had already let us know, which was kind of a bummer. And I was leaving the next day, and my, um, what are you doing? Looking at fame. No, 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 let's, let, let's, just, got fame. No, let's just focus on the story, okay. <laughs> so, so, so I get home, or I get back to my manager's place who I was staying with, and I'm like packing up my stuff because I'm I'm leaving the next day, and he goes, "Hey Carlos, there's this new Nickelodeon show. It's it's about a boy band." And I was like, "Heck no, never gonna do it." The reason being, the like the summer before or like maybe six months prior, I was uh, I was in, in I was on this reality show called Making Menudo, and it Please, was too, it was Carlos trying to find it, off of it was Menudo. trying to find the new Menudo band, and I got down to like. I don't know, like number eight or seven or nine. I didn't make the final five at all, which was fine, but I was very heartbroken uh, and it messed me up. So so I told my manager, no way, I'm not doing boy band. That Menudo thing messed me up. And he's like, but come on, this could be great. It's a whole different experience. I said, fine, I'll make a tape, but I'm not singing. And he was like, okay. I was just like so oh, not about it. A little bitter. Yeah, right. So 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 I make this t this this tape, and my character that I auditioned for was I I actually ended up auditioning for all for all the characters except for Kendall's character, um, but but I auditioned for um, what was his name? He was kind of like the Dodo one, and he and he was talking to someone about Tiger Beat magazine, and he was like, "Whoa, it's, is it a magazine about tigers? Cool." James? No, what what uh, what was the what were they? Oh, because they the, were called the original names. Yeah, uh, Kendall's was Donovan. What? Yeah, Logan's was I forget. James was I think it was Brian Brian Diamond. No, I don't remember. What was mine? I'll remember at some point. But anyways, so I auditioned whatever, and the next day they call and say, "Hey, we'd love to see him in person." I'm like, "You gotta be kidding me!" So so my parents. Literally had to change my flight. I had to go in. I had to sing, and I love sing. and then after that, that that evening, they were like, "Hey, we want to see him again." So we changed my flight again. I went in, and uh, after that, they said we want to see him again. So I changed my flight. I ended up staying in LA for a week. I How many times did you go in? Like four or five times. Holy moly! Uh, well, the, they were trying to find so so Logan and James had already screen tested twice. Yeah, so so there were three or four screen tests. They screen tested twice? Yeah, yeah. That's I, not normal. So I was at, so I was at a part of the third screen test for the fourth, the, the second or the third, I'm pretty sure it was the third. Wow. The boys can clarify for me. But so so 
I literally go in, I meet James, I meet Logan, I meet all these other guys, right? But I'm also auditioning for, for because like the parts weren't divvied out yet. No, Logan wasn't. and James just kept auditioning and you know, he kept auditioning. So I come in and I'm reading for, for my part, for Logan's part and for James's part and they're mixing and matching guys. And it was crazy. So, so then, so then I remember, I remember that it was the last mix and match and they called me in and they said, Hey, uh, let's do, uh, James, Logan, this guy, Kurt, right? Mm -hmm. And then Carlos, can you read this character? And can you read it a little differently? And I was like, Oh my gosh, this, this is either really good or, or like, I, I don't know. So I go in. And I literally read, and it's the four of us, and then they were like, okay, cool, well, thank you guys so much, and you know, thanks for coming in. And we left. And we had done like two hours of like in and out, mix and match, singing. We all had to sing. I don't know if we sang together, but we like, you know, all sang individually. And Kurt was too old, right? Well, so, no, no, so, 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 so Kurt did, did the pilot. Right. So, so we ended up getting it, and I, I remember going home, and I was I was uh, watching Wally with my little brother in the movie theater, and I got a call on my phone. It said unknown numbers. I was like, "Hello," and it was, it was my manager. And he's like, "You got the part." And I was like, "What? Hold on!" And I ran outside, and he's, he was like, "You got the part. You got the part." At, at the time, it wasn't called Big Time Rush. We didn't have a name yet. Um, I th I, th I think it was called Brand New Day. No way. Yeah, Brand New Day or uh, no? It was it was called Untitled Nickelodeon. Untitled Scott Fellows Nickelodeon Project. So anyways, so so I booked Big Time Rush and I, I go to college and I left for a month in college to film a pilot and, and we filmed an entire pilot for a whole month and recorded a whole bunch of songs and somebody else played Kendall's character, this guy, Kurt. And uh, yeah. You have to reshoot the whole pilot. We, we, and then, so then a year later, they recast Kurt even though Kurt was, he's so talented and he's so amazing. They just wanted somebody a little younger. So we, we went in for another. Which, by the way, is so hard. Oh, yeah. In this industry because it, it literally, like it doesn't, it didn't take away from that guy's talent or no. anything. He was, he, was, just, he was probably the most talented. It, it's just how things go yeah. sometimes. And hard. what's crazy is that Kendall had, 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 he had auditioned for the show previously and didn't get it. But we went in for another screen test, for the fourth screen test. Mm -hmm. And we did a mix and match. Which is terrifying because you know if they've already let go of Kurt, they can let go No, no. Him. Yeah, yeah, but we were pretty confident. They they told us that they, they needed to find a, 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 that, that fourth guy. So we went in and we're mixing and matching with different Kendalls. And literally at the end, they were like, so who do you want? And we were like, that guy. We were like, that's the guy. No way. Yeah, I mean, obviously they, they knew that they wanted him too, but we all felt such a strong connection with Kendall. We were like, him. That's cool. So yeah, so then so so then we uh, recast Kendall, and then like a month later we were shooting shooting thirteen episodes, and it was crazy. Like oh, that, that was a crazy, but all from a tape. I literally sent in a tape from and this was before self tape that I didn't want to really do. Right, yeah, <laughs> I didn't I mean, want to do. Back then, nobody did self tapes. Now no. everybody does self tapes, but it was yeah. pretty abnormal. To book something off of a self tape. Mm -hmm. How many years ago was this thing? Like no, 10? 10, 12 years ago. I don't even. I was I was eighteen when I first auditioned. You or sorry, I'm sorry. I was seventeen. I was seventeen. Oh, so more than ten years ago. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I was seventeen. No, I was eighteen. I was I was eighteen when I first auditioned for for now. a big time rush. I'm so, so old. I'm gonna shave tomorrow. I'll look younger. But yeah, that's that was my that was my. Uh, there's there, there's way more to the story, and one day we should sit down and just take a bunch of questions and answer questions. But it's like the the process was, you know, it, it, I was in the right place at, at the right time, and God had God had a plan. Mm -hmm. You know, all these other opportunities didn't really matter, even though to me it was the end of the world when I didn't get Menudo. I was heartbroken when I didn't get fame. I was heartbroken. When I didn't book any of the things that I had auditioned for, I was heartbroken. But it was, what's crazy is that it all was prepping me for Big Time Rush. And I look back now and I go, how lucky that the four of us got to experience what we experienced. Oh, for sure. Out of all of the young men who auditioned for that show. And some t some of them way more talented than, than me. I mean, pfft, 
Like some of the kids could sing, but you they know, didn't have this face. I guess they didn't have this. <laughs> I know. At one point during the the third screen test, like my 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 screen test, I was like, dude. I'm the only ethnic guy here. I was like, that's either really good or they're just, it's, it's, it's a long shot. You're like maybe the Spanish guy. Yeah, maybe the Spanish guy, maybe not. But yeah, so, so that was that. Cool. Any questions? That was my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know if you enjoyed the story time below and we can do more of these. I don't have any questions for you. Cool. Well, uh, let's go on your page and talk about how you booked Spy Kids. But mine is way different than you. Like, I could probably do that in two minutes. Well, I'll ask a lot of questions. <laughs> Hope you guys have, have, have had a great week. Uh, next week will be a little different. Alexa and I won't be together, so maybe we'll uh, do Q&A with some other... Or you could do another story time. Or more story time. But uh, we love you guys, and thank you for all the support. We'll see you guys soon. Much love, God bless, and as always, ciao. Ja ja see you in the next one.